All right, guys, so NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang came out and said that he believes quantum computers will be useful at some point, but not anytime soon, and it's decades away. Following his statement, all the stocks in quantum computing tanked immediately, and that's why you're seeing a whole red day around these stocks. So for those who are not aware and are asking themselves questions, because I did have a lot of discussions and people actually messaged me on why these stocks are tanking, and as I had experienced Express on my previous video of RGTI, when volumes are high and there's a bubble, there's great money to be done, in my opinion, when you're a trader or a swing trader only, but not as a, obviously as a long-term investor or value investor. As like any other bubble, they tend to actually burst at some point and have a downfall. Now, this is what seems to be happening right now after the CEO came and said it and stated, if you said 15 years for very useful quantum computers, that would probably be on the early side, he said. If you said 30, it's probably on the late side. But if you pick 20 years from now, I think a whole bunch of us would believe it. Guys, even 10 years from now, that's very far from today when you think about how technology is evolving so drastically fast with AI that you cannot counter believe that QUBT, for example, or RGTI or QBTS will be the number one contender. So this is why it's called a bubble, a momentum, where we're all happy to make money on trading it but with the knowledge that this is not a long-term investment so something important to keep in mind is do not fall in love with companies or with stocks and end up holding the bag obviously for people that are looking more for long-term investment into the quantum computing well definitely nvidia and google i believe in my opinion are the best investments not only from an ai chip maker for nvidia but also for the quantum aspect google well it's a revolution in many technological aspects Aspects, and I believe will continue to prosper for many years ahead of us. So those two companies for me are definitely the most secure as they have extremely strong fundamentals. Growth projections are very positive. Now, if we look at the charts of all the quantum computing plays, let's start by RGTI. So they're at minus 46% right now on $9. So as you can see in the hype, the volumes, look at the volumes right here. So we're starting right here at 250 million, 158 million. And look at this, it skyrocketed all the way to $20. Once the news came, look at what happened to the volumes right here so this is something you need to watch when you're trading these stocks 98 million the day before 132 million okay so you can see the trend here right it's decreasing and what happens in the tendency with these stocks is once you see the volumes go down and if the story is not good behind you what you should later see is that the volumes will start to decrease until to reach something a flat line like these and this is when the stock becomes dead basically until there's a new resurgence here small little trends of volumes picking up and that's where great traders are really good at picking up these stocks before the pop they'll look for several signs and start investing into these stocks for a swing trade and wait for those pops to come and then they'll push the price up let's look at qubt quantum computing minus 43 percent so look at this it's the same trend right here as you can see the pop although they seem to have had a consolidation period right here with low volumes as you can see that's exactly what i'm talking about the low, lower volumes there's a consolidation and then big volumes right here followed by the downtrend and then a collapse right here right now where we're talking about so obviously this one seems interesting because there definitely is going to be a support level at six dollars and between eight dollars so i'm really curious to see what's going to happen here and there's going to be probably a lot of day traders who are going to try to play this one out and hopefully none of you actually are back holding and you have created stop loss orders which is something crucial when you trade these stocks to do so if you haven't done that please make your own research but stop loss order should definitely be part of your strategy a great trader always has an entry point strategy and an exit point strategy. And you do not want to be a back holder. So you need to have also, if it's going in an uptrend like this, you will rarely or never be able to calculate where is the tip of that hype. So say in this instance, $26 right here. So what you want to do is once you have exceeded your target, say it's to double your money, so 100% return. While some investors, what they like to do is take off the table your initial investment and leave the profit run its way. And then you take at every say 10% return, you take a little bit more profit and so on and so forth, right? So that's one strategy that, that is used and that I personally use, by the way. I did the same thing with SoFi, with Palantir. Once I got my money back, 100% of it, I, I sold out that portion and left the rest of the money run. And then I started to sell incrementally and in Palantir's case, until I sold out completely. SoFi, on the other hand, I did keep it because I still 
fail, I can still run. But in these cases, I am fully aware there's no fundamentals, at least not in the near future. So this is why it's a complete day trading strategy for me. D-Wave, same thing, minus 35%. This is said to be one of the companies that probably has the most potential out of the four. But same trend here, as you can see, volumes up and volumes going down and there's a crash today. All right, this one, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. Yon Q, I guess, minus 40% at $29. Same trend, as you can see, volumes going up, consolidation. Actually, this one, actually, interestingly enough, had a lot of consolidation cases and then volumes up, consolidation, people took profit and then up. So it's like a stair is going up and, and down as opposed to a big pop like we've seen right here on QUBT. You see this? Three big green candles. So this, I would be in fear. I would sell out probably definitely with the strategy of recovering your initial investment, like I said, and then selling on the same day as the stock goes up. But this one, very interesting, right? You can see that the setup was a bit different here. So on these stocks, Exceptionally, I'm not going to go through the whole technical analysis on support levels just because I believe that the volumes will be reduced unless there's another breaking news or the news are trying to push this stock price up or the quantum computing world. But I doubt it because Donald Trump is kicking in in a week and a half. And with all the new policies, all the disruptive ideas he has, I think there's going to be new plays that are going to come into play and the money's going to go there, right? So, but I might be wrong, guys, right? So at the end of the day be aware do your own research due diligence very important before you make any decisions but as far as i'm concerned i have cash positions ready to go and today i actually bought stocks for the long-term investment and for now i'm gonna stay away from the quantum computing stocks as the volumes will be decreasing and the story behind that was pushing this stock price up continuously day after day and even actually months while that story no longer makes sense today i just wanted to make sure that i updated you on what's going on since there was a lot of questions on why they're completely red today and to make sure that you're doing your due diligence before considering to buy these dips that are actually crashes at this point because it's 41 percent and to be aware that this could be going down a lot more right as you can see right here look at this one right for example we're talking about six dollars back in september of last year so there's 20 dollars downside right here that could still go all the way down right if if the momentum is not there anymore and that there's no other good news turning this thing around and that the money starts it's going somewhere else for another trade into another bubble while you might be in a lot of trouble here. So like I told you in my last video, only play with money that you're willing to lose should things go south. But that's just my personal opinion, guys. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button. It really helps me not only for the algorithms of YouTube, but also to motivate me to continue to actually give you updates on different stocks, different plays, as this takes a lot of time. So thank you so much. Really appreciate all the messages, by the way, I received to encourage me and don't hesitate to let me know if there's any stocks you'd like me to cover in the future on that note be safe peace out